Alrighty, hello everybody. Hello, hello, and welcome everyone. How are you? I hope I find you well. I am Phil. Phil I am, and welcome to a huge, huge new release day, everybody. Two new releases today. Pretty awesome. Whenever we have a day with multiple new game releases, it usually perks things up around here, let's say. And um, I'm pretty excited to be checking out both of the new games that I'll be checking out today and, you know, for the next couple of weeks. Um, what we'll do is I'll cover my schedule for the next couple of weeks here on the stream to let you guys know exactly what you can expect uh, coming up. And then we will jump into the new release goodness, okay? First of all, welcome everyone. Today is Tuesday, November 13th, 2018. Hello, hello. I am Darkseid Phil, of course. Welcome to my first of two gameplay streams for the day. It will be a full day of new release gameplay streaming for you. The first of which is coverage of the new release, Hitman 2. Now you may be saying, but wait a minute, there already was a Hitman 2. <laughs> You're right. There was a Hitman 2. You're absolutely right. This is Hitman 2 2. That's right. Because a couple years ago, what was it, 2016? Over the course of 2016, we had the episodic releases of Hitman, and that was the second Hitman. So that was Hitman... Uh, <laughs> I don't even know. This is technically... Because Hitman 2, back in the day, was called Hitman 2 Silent Assassin. That was the sequel to the original Hitman game. Well, this one's just called Hitman 2. So this is technically Hitman 2 2, the second sequel. <laughs> Figure that one out. It's much like how they keep rebooting certain movies, but then they don't call them new things. Like, they, they redo Halloween, and they just call it Halloween. Like, wait a minute, but there already is a Halloween. They redo Friday the 13th and call it Friday the 13th. Like, wait a minute, well, what's what? They just redid Ghostbusters with a whole new cast, a terrible plot, and it was a piece of crap, but they just called it Ghostbusters. So you don't know what the hell's going on. Um, Pretty silly, huh? So anyway... All that being said, everybody, welcome to Hitman 2-2, the second sequel. Um, unlike last time when Hitman was released, they've er, they have uh, prompt er, uh, chosen to not do an episodic release, meaning this is actually a full game that is being released today. And that was one of my very strong criticisms of Hitman a couple years ago, was that sadly, uh, the game was episodic, and being episodic, it really didn't get to feel immersed in the game. It was more like, I'm playing a challenge map, you know? That's kind of what it felt like. I'm playing a Hitman challenge map, and once I finish it, I guess I won't play it again for another two months until another challenge map is released. Then I'll do another challenge map. And that's pretty much how it felt. And that was kind of disjointed. And it, quite frankly, by the time that I beat the game, I was like, well, the, the gameplay itself was pretty good, but I felt like... um. The story was completely lost because it was so broken apart that you couldn't even really put together a consistent narrative. Like, it was just very confusing and disjointed, in my opinion, okay? Um, will it be different this time around now that Hitman 2 is one solid release and not an episodic release? I have no idea. We're going to find out today uh, how this is going to turn out, okay, guys? So... Yes, Hitman 2, starting right now on stream, four plus hours of Hitman 2, and as usual, it should be pretty exciting and interesting to see what kind of creative ways they have uh, thought up to have Agent 47 assassinating people. Will there be, you know, people go in the toilet and sit on the toilet and a missile shoots up their ass and blows them into pieces? Um, they go to make a piece of toast and a razor shoots out and chops their head in half. All right, so probably neither of those will happen, but you know what you, you know what I'm saying. If you played Hitman before, usually they they make some pretty creative ways to assassinate the people in the games that end up being pretty entertaining. Um, so we'll see, we'll see how it goes. I'm curious to see what kind of uh, interesting ways they they have invented to assassinate people. Now, Clement, Clemente Blue in the stream chat just said something very interesting that is true. He says, is this, this is the first Hitman from IO Games after they left Square Enix, right? That is correct. 
And in fact, all reports were that it was actually Square Enix that kind of forced IO to make this game episodic last time around. And that was kind of ma what made it to blame for not being as big of a sales success as they wanted. But IO Interactive, who makes the Hitman series, then went off and found publishing elsewhere and was able to make Hitman 2 regardless. So they didn't need Square Enix. That's a good story because, a lot, sadly, a lot of these game developers, if they lose their publisher, they are basically float around forever and never really find a way to success again. But this company pretty much, you know, secured funding right away and had no issues. And that's a good thing. <clears throat> okay. Okay. <laughs> so, I'm excited to see how this turns out today, okay? And I will be playing this over the course of this week. I'll talk about that in just a moment. Tonight, everyone, on my late stream, starting between 6.30 and 7 p.m. Pacific Time, the premiere of Spyro the Dragon 2, remastered from the Spyro Remastered Trilogy Collection, that released as well today. Now, you might be saying, why is Phil playing Spyro 2, not Spyro 1? It's very simple, because I already played Spyro 1 last year before they even announced a remastered trilogy. Um, they, I had played Spyro 1 during the fall, and I liked the game so much, I did a 100% completion run. I did every piece of content possible in the game and really enjoyed it. Um, and so now that the collection is out, I said, why am I going to play Spyro 1 again? I, mean, I just played it a year ago. We'll start off with Spyro 2. Now, apparently, from what I'm going to understand, um, Spyro 2 is arguably, for, you know, when fans talk about the series, the best Spyro game in the entirety of the series. That's cool, obviously. Um, and definitely, uh, I'm looking forward to it. I am. I really enjoyed Spyro so much last year that I'm really looking forward to Spyro 2 tonight, okay? Okay. So today, full day of new release content for all of you. I know a lot of you have kind of been a little bit burnt out recently after two plus weeks of Red Dead Redemption and then two days of Dragon Quest and, you know, ongoing stuff like Assassin's Creed that seems like it's never going to end. <laughs> Some of you have said, man, I wonder when, you know, new games will hit. Well, here they are. Okay, so good stuff. All new release content starting today. Um, Tomorrow... <clears throat> Uh, I'm going to be doing the same thing. Same thing. All new release content tomorrow, Wednesday. Uh, Hitman and Spyro. So two straight days of back-to-back -back all new releases for you. Should be pretty entertaining. Okay? Now, Thursday is my day off. <clears throat> First day off in nine days. So after nine straight streaming days, I'm finally getting a day off on Thursday. It'll be nice to finally spend some time with Kat, and we have a lot of stuff we need to get done in one day. In fact, I was sitting down last night, I was like, man, I don't think there's even enough time in one day to do all the stuff we want to do, so we're going to have to pick and choose the stuff that we can actually get done that day. Um, <clears throat> but then I'll be back on Friday, <clears throat> and what I'm going to do then, okay, um, what I'm going to do then is on Friday, I'm going to decide, do I either want to play Hitman 2 or Spyro 2 on Friday? And that will be my main gameplay stream. And then on Friday night, I'm going to start balancing the new releases with the ongoing playthroughs. So Friday night will be either Hitman or Spyro, and then at night it will be Assassin's Creed Odyssey for two hours. Okay? <clears throat> then on Saturday, same thing. Whatever I didn't play on Friday, whether it was Hitman or Spyro, will be played on the mainstream on Saturday. And then Saturday night will be Dragon Quest XI post-game content, okay? Um, Sunday, uh, we'll see. I actually don't want to tell you what, what I'm doing on Sunday because usually I only do uh, one stream on Sundays. However, this Sunday may be different. I may actually do a double stream Sunday. I haven't decided yet, but we'll see. I may do a double stream Sunday this Sunday. We'll see, okay? But basically, that's what you're going to see. The new release is, you know, every day here. Uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, balanced with the other stuff that I'm juggling, which is Assassin's Creed Odyssey, Dragon Quest, and of course, uh, Call of Duty, Black Ops 4, Blackout gameplay. Now, here's the other thing, guys. It's been a month since the release of Call of Duty, Black Ops 4. I've only played the multiplayer of the game once. And I know a lot of people were like, man, Phil, you know, you really didn't give the multiplayer a chance. You just basically played it once, okay? And, uh, you know, I don't know. 
Sorry, someone just cheered and it distracted me. Um, I don't, I, you know, a lot of people have been saying, you know, it's not fair. You know, you typically, Phil, when you play Call of Duty, you give it more just one shot. You know, even if you really don't like it, you usually play it several sessions. Also, the feedback that I received when I played Black Ops 4 was very positive. Even though I was sucking at the game, people seemed to enjoy watching me suffer in Black Ops 4 multiplayer. Okay. Um, and I've been asked over the past month several times, like, Phil, when are you going to do the multiplayer again? To which I just keep answering, I have no idea. Um, since now, things have finally wound down, okay? I finally finished up, uh, Red Dead 2, which was great that I was able to finish it, uh, you know, within the two weeks to time frame that I had to finish it. <clears throat> okay, um, you know, maybe I will squeeze in some Black Ops 4 multiplayer as well on a nighttime stream just to give the game another shake. And to see what else is, you know, what else is going on with that. Okay? We'll see. I'm not going to promise you the world here. But I think it would make some sense maybe to squeeze in a couple sessions of Black Ops 4 multiplayer. Since I do own the game and I never played it. Okay? There's also been the question, will Phil ever do Black Ops 4 Zombies? Maybe. But it really hasn't been a concern. I mean, there have been so many new releases over the last month. There was no way that I could even do black ops other content all i could do is once a week squeeze in a little bit of the blackout battle royal and i never had a chance to play anything else because i was so you know inundated with so many other new releases you know um so we'll see you know what happens coming up all right now next week as well on tuesday of next week so one week from today the next spider-man dlc releases this is the second part in a trilogy of spider-man dlcs and this one is supposed to focus on the villain hammerhead um, we'll see how that goes, because the first DLC, eh, it was pretty short. Like, I finished it within one stream, and even though it wasn't bad, it was pretty underwhelming. I'm wondering what this second DLC will be, okay? Um, so that's going to be Tuesday of next week. Now, a couple things to address here, folks. First of all, as you've noticed, I did not mention Fallout 76 anywhere whatsoever within what I was just described, okay? Yeah, it's because I'm not playing it. I, I thought about it long and hard, I pulled the audience, I talked with you guys on streams about it for days and days, and I finally came to the determination, there's no reason for me to play Fallout 76, um, it's just not a very interesting game to me, co-op only, you know, if you play it solo, it basically sucks, you have to play it co-op with friends, much like a game like Destiny, um, even though it has story elements, they really aren't the main focus of the game, the main focus of the game is just grinding repetitive gameplay, and I just not sold on this game at all. I'm not. I'm not at all. And I, uh, you know, with all the other stuff going on and the other multiple new releases and things I'm tackling along with ongoing playthroughs, I feel that if I played Fallout 76, that it would just derail everything else, and it would be a game that I dropped 60 bucks on, play it two to three times, no one cares about it anymore, including me, and it was just a complete waste of everybody's time. Okay. As Fate Stay Jedi just said, it's a cash grab. I agree. <laughs> I totally 100% agree. And that's a shame, because I am a huge fan of Fallout. Ever since Fallout 3 released, which was one of my earliest playthroughs I ever did on YouTube. Fallout 3, Fallout New Vegas, I both played them twice for YouTube. Uh, Fallout 4 was my game of the year pick when it released. But I actually just am not interested in playing Fallout 76. It's just not my kind of game. Okay? So there you go. Now, the other thing to address next week is the release of battlefield 4 excuse me battlefield 5 i wish it was the fucking release of battlefield 4 because i loved battlefield 4 at the launch of ps4 it was a really great game but battlefield 5 releases next week and i've been pretty much eternally on the fence about this game i i like battlefield don't get me wrong but i played the beta of battlefield 5 and i hated it and i don't just mean oh i had a few criticisms of it I fucking hated it. Like, I had a full four-hour stream scheduled of this beta. I played it for two hours, and I became so fucking bored that I actually switched games midstream. I couldn't even stomach four hours of the multiplayer of this fucking beta. Okay? That's how fucking bad it was. It just seemed to me like it was complete lack of effort. It played exactly like Battlefield 1 from two years ago. Um, it wasn't fun, there was no innovation whatsoever, and I was just like, why am I even gonna spend money on this game if they put no effort into it, why the fuck would I put effort into buying it and playing it? You know what I mean? Um, 
So that being said, I don't know. Like, I'm really on the fence about Battlefield 5. And last night I put a poll up on Twitter, and most people are telling me don't play it. Now, that could be a troll vote. I don't know. But, you know, for me to look at that and see that the majority of people are telling me don't play it, do keep focusing on the stuff you're doing that you're going to enjoy. Plus, I mean, I'm going to be honest with you guys, you know, with all the games I had to buy recently and everything, like, I don't have enough money to just throw at games. I don't. I don't have money to just throw at any game. It's not like it used to be. I know, guys, it's tough, especially if you've been a longtime viewer and fan of mine, where years ago I used to make so much money on YouTube. I could just throw money at any old piece of shit game, right? Know nothing about it and play it. It's a piece of garbage. Ripped the game a new butthole, and everyone thought it was hilarious, right? And I could literally just throw the game away and move on. Uh, I can't do that anymore. You know, like, I have I have to really be careful with the money that I spend and make sure that when I'm buying a game, this is going to be a game that's going to have quality content for the streams. It's going to allow me to continuously make content for the streams, not just one session and I'm done with it. Uh, I just don't have that liberty anymore. You know, just being honest with you guys, I don't. Financially, I can't do it. I can't frivolously just buy games left and right that I may not enjoy and drop in a moment's notice, okay? So that being said... Um, you know, Battlefield 5, I'm being very honest with you guys, I don't think I want to play it. You know, after th that beta actually just annoyed the shit out of me so much, it was so freaking boring, okay, that I just, I, I just have no desire to freaking play it. So, that being said, um, what I'm thinking is that next week, we'll see what's going on. Like, how far have I gotten in Hitman? How far have I gotten in, uh, you know, in, in Spyro? How, you know, uh, what's going on with Assassin's Creed, which has been an ongoing playthrough for a month, right? Um, Dragon Quest, you know. Have I had a chance to maybe play some more Blackout uh, or some Black Ops 4 beta, or uh, Black Ops 4 multiplayer? And, you know, how are people digging the streams? And if things are going good, just keep going along with that, right? But... If things are going, you know, to the point where we're all bored and we want something fresh, then maybe I would consider playing it. But I'm, I'm just being very honest with all of you. Right now, I'm strongly leaning towards don't play Battlefield 5. It just doesn't seem good to me, you know. And I think maybe just focusing in on the few things I'm doing. I mean, I'm already doing Hitman, Spyro, Assassin's Creed, Dragon Quest, Black Ops 4. That's five games I'm juggling. Oh, by the way, at the end of this month, last week of the month, I'm definitely getting Darksiders 3. That's one I 100% want to play. So, now we're talking another game. Oh, by the way, in early December, there's Smash Brothers Ultimate. So, now there's another game. See what I mean? Like, it just keeps compiling the amount of games that I'm going to be playing. And if I throw in these games that I don't know if I'm going to enjoy and probably are just going to be wasted time, it's just going to keep delaying the games that I want to play. See what I mean? Um, so, that's what I'm thinking. Uh, being very honest with all of you. Uh, I'm probably going to skip Battlefield. At least that's what I'm leaning towards right now. We'll see what happens over the course of this week, but right now I'm strongly leaning towards skip it and focus on the good stuff. Okay? Alrighty then. Okay. So, Hitman, Spyro today, tomorrow, Thursday's my day off, then balancing Hitman and Spyro every day with one of the other ongoing playthroughs I'm doing for the next five days. By the way, my next day off after this week will be Wednesday of next week. That's the day before Thanksgiving here in the United States. Thanksgiving Day, I will be streaming, but it's just going to be Ask the King, which is my bi-monthly Q&A show. So I will be doing a live episode of Ask the King here on stream on Thanksgiving Day. But I will not be doing a second stream. I'm going to be spending the night with Kat. We're going to be having a nice Thanksgiving dinner together and spending a nice cozy night by the fire to celebrate Thanksgiving. But then I'll be back in full force starting that Friday with double streams yet again. Okay, Black Friday, for some people it means shopping, for me it means gaming. So there you go. Um, okay, so there we go, guys. Hopefully this is a thorough explanation of what you guys can expect in the next several weeks, and you found it satisfactory, all right? Um, ladies and gentlemen, today I don't want to do a big plug segment, but I do need to appeal to you very honestly. Right now, financially, things are not going so well, which is why I'm talking about things like, oh, I can't afford certain games and stuff. Uh, it's just being honest with you. Um, things are not going so well. And I'm to the point now where... I was expecting my, a Twitch payment to come through. It hasn't come through yet this month, and I have no money. So today, if you're watching the stream and you would like to contribute, all right, there are many ways you can contribute. You could subscribe to 
the channel. You can pledge to my Patreon at patreon.com forward slash darksidefield. You could buy some merch from my Teespring shop. But in reality, guys, today the best way you could contribute would be to tip me. Um, because I get those funds right away, and I'm in a really bad place right now financially until the Switch payment comes through. Last month, it had already come through by now. And this month, it didn't. So I don't know what's going on over at Twitch with their, their laying in payment or whatever. But it's basically, I'm kind of screwed right now until I get this payment coming through. So if you could, please tip me today. How do you tip? There's two different ways. You can either take a look below my stream, and there's a button that says tip jar that you can click on. Or if you just type exclamation point tip into the stream chat, it'll bring up the tips page. Uh, that's how you tip, okay? And tipping me right now would help me tremendously. So please, if you at all are going to contribute today and you have the ability to choose, I'm not, certainly not going to look a gift horse in the mouth. If you contribute in any other way, like cheering or subbing or Patreon or Teespring, that's all great. But right now, tipping me would help me the most. On you know, right now I'm kind of between a rock and a hard place, and it's not very a good place to be. Okay, um, we do have a stream stats leaderboard at the top of the screen. So if you are the top cheerer or top tipper for today, I will update that leaderboard and give you credit. In addition, we are tracking subs for a sub goal this month. And if we hit 525 subs, I'll be doing my very fun holiday gaming marathon. Well, I'll be dressing up. I'll be drinking. I'll be playing a variety of games on a stream right around Christmas to be holly and jolly. And I'm very excited about this. And I hope you guys are too. Uh, I want to do it, but we got to hit the sub goal. Right now, we're just under. Like, we have like 15 subs to go. We could definitely hit this soon, okay? So that being said, um, hopefully, hopefully we do hit the sub goal, okay? So, there you go. Um, outside of all that, I think that's it. That's all I really have to talk about. So I think it's time to give some shout-outs to people on the stream who have contributed. And then we're going to start off with Hitman. Okay? Fair enough? Alrighty then. All right, so, first of all, let's give some credit to those who contributed overnight. Um, we actually had someone who, after my stream had ended last night, did a cheer right away, and so they kind of made it to the tail end of the stream, but not really. It was Incognito Burrito. Did a 103-bit cheer and said, Phil, I hope your days are great. Your videos have always entertained me since I saw you play Tekken Revolution. That was a long time ago. <laughs> so, thank you for that contribution since you didn't get credit last night i wanted to be sure you got it today okay then overnight there were a couple cheers we had imminent 55 who did a 500 bit cheer overnight thank you very much and then we had the lolly cop who cheered he says did you know that when ninja was playing fortnite a guy destroyed him so hard ninja demanded the guy to be banned from the game and shit talked him too when fortnite makes you angry um listen first of all i have no idea if this is a true story at all i don't watch ninja i don't know anything about it and i don't follow any drama about the about people you know, on the internet. I don't care. But the bottom line is, competitive games can make you rage. I personally can attest to this, because whenever I play Street Fighter, my god, do I usually friggin' rage, or any competitive fighting game, honestly, online. And, you know, sometimes it's legit, sometimes it's it's acting, I'll be honest, you know. But a lot of the times it is legit. I get so frustrated when a connection is bad, or someone's just using an abusive pattern because they know the connection is bad. Uh, and there have been times when I've called for people to be banned from games. And so I've done this myself. So, you know what? If this really did happen, Ninja's a human guy, right? And I think we should all give him a freaking break. All right? So there. Okay. Um, <clears throat> now, moving on to people who actually contributed during today's stream so far. Our first contribution came from Rob Warren, who tipped me $4.70. I said, sorry, dude, I can only give you 10%. I don't know what 10% is. <laughs> I don't know what he's talking about. But, that is currently the top tip for the day. So, let's get Rob, whoops, let's get Rob up on the leaderboard right now. Um, thank you very much, Rob, for your contribution. I appreciate that, okay? Um, alrighty, there we go. Then, Liam Dingo tipped me $2. Says, hey, please play Hit Me on Blood Money. It's easily the best one. See, I don't remember... Back in the day when I was building PCs, now that was a long time ago. That was around, you know, early to mid 2000s. I had bought some kind, I think it was a graphics card for one of my PCs, and it came with Hitman, a Hitman game. I know it wasn't the original Hitman. I think it may have been Hitman 2, but it may have also been Hitman Blood Money. I don't remember. 
Okay, I just don't remember. And I remember there was it was you were sneaking into a mansion of a gangster because you were trying to assassinate a gangster. And he had bodyguards all over the mansion. And I think one of the ways you could sneak in is you could dress up like the chef. And you could poison the guy's food. Or you could dress up like one of the bodyguards and sneak around and try to get into the guy's room and strangle him or toss him over a ledge. Like, there were many ways that you could kill this gangster guy who was hiding out inside of a mansion. Um, and that was pretty fun. But I don't remember if that was Hitman 2 Silent Assassin or Hitman Blood Money. I don't remember that. Um... So, you know, have I played it? No. Now, here's the thing. Years and years and years ago, I purchased the Hitman HD collection um, from, I think it was on PS3. Yeah, I have it. It's I have it over in my games collection over there. Um, you know, I bought it years ago, and I never played it. I don't know well, why. I guess, I, guess I, it had, I remember that... It had been put into rotation for games to be played. Okay. Um, I remember that I put in many polls and things for Patron's Choice. It never wins. Like, it always kind of, a few times it did get close, but it never wins. This collection never really makes it into the running for a playthrough to be played. I don't know why. You know, I've played Hitman games over the years. Hitman Absolution was an amazingly successful playthrough for me back in the day. And Hitman, you know, last last time around when it was an episodic game, it didn't do so hot simply because I think it was an episodic game, but it was still a fun playthrough, okay? Um, <clears throat> so that being said, um, uh, you know, that being said, my friends, uh, I never think I ever played Blood Money. I don't think so. I don't even think I know what it is. So, hopefully... Hopefully. Maybe one day I'll get around to playing the Hitman Classics. Because I do own the collection. It's just sitting there collecting dust for years. But, um, yeah. Maybe one day I will play Blood Money. We'll see. Okay? Alright, Golden Colts did a 50-bit cheer. Okay? Golden Colts did a 50-bit cheer. And says, starting some cheer. Phil, did you ever play the original Hitman 2 Silent Assassin? Well, here we go. I think I just answered that. Whatever Hitman it was at the first mission is that mansion that's the one i played um before i played hitman absolution but hitman absolution was the first major hitman game that i ever played in the modern era and the basically the first playthrough i ever did of hitman for youtube um so there you go i can't really answer your question because i don't know all right chipe cheered 50 bits and he says i barely grazed the wall did you oh did you have complete destruction after that <laughs> referencing one of my pre-stream songs. Very nice. Thank you, Chipe, for the cheer. Rockstar cheered. He says, I love the new artwork. I think he's talking about um, the new advertisement for my Christmas merch, which is on sale right now on my Teespring. Indeed. So, yeah, that was actually Hermano Carl made that promotional artwork for uh, the new merchandise. So, thank you to Hermano Carl very much for that. Appreciate that. Uh, Omnipotent Swaggins cheered. He says, I would have gotten this game if they at least tried to make an effort without adding something fresh that makes it different from the last game. If you played one game after the other, I wouldn't be able to tell you which is which. Uh, yeah, from what I'm to understand, it's pretty much just more of the same. And I actually said this in the last Hitman game a couple years ago when I played it. That I really feel that the Hitman series has basically reached the epitome of what it can be. You know what I mean? Um, I don't really see that mo they could really do much else with it um, at all, okay? I don't really see that they could do mo that much with it whatsoever. Like, what else are they going to do with the series besides more creative ways to assassinate people, okay? Or, better, you know, different locations that are just off-the-wall things you wouldn't expect. Why, why not have, like, um, San Diego Comic-Con, right? You're trying to assassinate someone at San Diego Comic-Con, and, you know, you have to walk. It's one of the guests or something. You have to assassinate one of those guys. But you have to find a way to do it so no one knows that it was you. You know, I could see stuff like that, like big over-the-top stuff at real-life events and stuff. It could happen. Or the Oscars. You're at the Oscars or the Emmy Awards. And you have to assassinate, you know, someone in the Screen Actors Guild or something. <laughs> that I could see, you know, variations on that. So, you know, silly stuff like that. Um, 
but outside of that, um, you know, I don't know what else they could do. Like, honestly, what else could they basically do? I have no idea. So, I understand if you're saying, oh, the game's too similar to other Hitman games. Yeah, I mean, what else can they do with this franchise, honestly? If you like Hitman, and you like the style of Hitman assassination games, you're going to like Hitman 2, probably, you know? But outside of that, I don't, you know... You don't really want to change. Um, you don't want to change the formula of something that people like. Typically, when they do that, you'll get a lot of backlash. Imagine, remember what Resident Evil went from classic survival horror to over-the-shoulder action. Remember when you know how many times can I talk about when a franchise went a different way because people said that the franchise was too similar in the sequels, and then massive, you know, backlash against it because it's not what people were expecting from that franchise. So I can definitely understand the whole formula that IO Games or IO Interactive is using of if it ain't broke, don't fix it, you know? And certainly, I don't think that they're oversaturating the market with Hitman games. I mean, that last Hitman game released from, like, late 2015 through all the way through 2016 episodically. And like I said, by the time it was done, it didn't even feel like a complete game because it had been so sporadically released. Um, <clears throat> if they just keep improving the graphics, slightly improving the gameplay, and doing more innovative ways to assassinate people, and release a game every two, three years, I don't see the problem with that. Um, but I co totally understand. I can see from your perspective. If you're someone who absolutely is looking for something innovative or different, and if this game is pretty much identical to the last one, I can understand where you're coming from. Okay? <clears throat> All right, shout out to Two Bar King, who did 100 bit cheer and said. Hitman Hype. All right, Tubar King, thank you. You're not the cheerleader. Let's get you up on the leaderboard. There we go. For some reason, I didn't put the underscore. <sighs> I've been having a lot of problems with my keyboard this week. I don't know what's going on with it. Yeah, j yeah it's fucked up right now. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's either the wireless signal's given out or <clears throat> I just don't know. Something's going on. Okay. Um But that being said, hopefully it continues to work. I don't know. Alright. Alright, let's continue on. The Lollicop Charity says, I saw your schedule. It says Thursday is my day off, but then it says I will play Hitman 2 on Thursday. Uh no it doesn't. <laughs> No, it doesn't. Nowhere under does it say, I will play Hitman 2 on Thursday. So I'm not sure what you're talking about, but that wasn't on my schedule, at least of last night. Maybe you're looking at an outdated schedule from a few days ago. <clears throat> but as of last night, it does not say that. Um, he wants to know if there's been anything wrong recently. No. No. I'm just, I'm just you know, my schedule is, is very, very busy and a little bit confusing because... Every day, I basically have different days off now, and it kind of throws a little bit of a monkey wrench into things where I... Sometimes I even forget what day it is. Cat's the same way. We're like, what the hell day is today? <clears throat> you know, because previously we had had a, a schedule where it was consistent. Every su Saturday would be our day out. I'd be here streaming, you know, Sunday through Friday, and it was, you know, like clockwork. You would know what was going on, and now every week it's a little different. It's shuffled around a little bit, which is fine, but it does... It makes things a little bit confusing. And, you know, I know that I'm not perfect, and I do make typos and things on my schedule and the like. Um, so there you go. Okay. All right. Yolo Doppler says, November 16th and 17th are not marked properly on the schedule. You're off and playing on Thursday. What? What? Thursday is my day off. So if it says Thursday I'm streaming, then it's actually Friday. All right, I'm going to go look at this right now. Because now you confused me. Let me go look at this schedule. Let's take a look. Let's do it. Let's do it live. <clears throat> Fuck it. Do it live. Yes, this is incorrect. It just should say Friday. And this should say Saturday. There you go. The date was correct. Yes, it was.
Okay. All right, so I was correct. What the schedule said had the correct date on there. It was the correct date, but it was just the wrong day. Like I said, Thursday the 16th. Well, Thursday's not the 16th. Friday is the 16th. So all it was was the days were off. It said Thursday and Friday instead of Friday and Saturday. I will make sure that that is updated tonight. But the dates were correct. So it says Thursday my day off, the 15th, and then I'm back on the 16th. That is correct. So there you go. It does not say, I am playing Hitman on the si on Thursday. It doesn't say that. So it'll be less confusing tonight. <clears throat> so there you go. By the way, this is the first I've heard of it. No one actually said anything about it last night. Uh, this is the first I actually heard that I had the wrong date, uh, days on there. So Okay. Hexagon Waves, subscribe to the channel. Thank you, Hexagon Waves, for the sub. Unfortunately, he then immediately started whining in the stream chat, and I think it was actually a, a Twitch Prime sub. I think this is actually maybe a troll, because he literally was like, why are you Why are you talking? Why aren't you playing games? And he just kept spamming the stream chat and got timed out. <laughs> Thanks for the sub, but every single day I do this. I do a pre-stream to explain to my viewers what's going on, because I don't usually talk about this stuff during gameplay. So that's why I get it out of the way now. So... Welcome, and thanks for the support. However, you're going to have to learn the rules of the land. Uh, please don't spam the stream chat with complaints. <clears throat> All right. The lollipop just cheered. I said, what if someone donated you Fallout 76 and Battlefield 5? Will you play it? Honestly, Fallout 76, no. I'm, I'm not playing it. I just have no desire whatsoever to play Fallout 76. Just being honest with you, I just don't. Even if someone handed me the game right now and said, here it is, I would say thanks, but no thanks. Battlefield 5, potentially yes, but it would have to be like someone buys the game and sends me the code. Um, if someone was just going to give me money, no, I have to spend money on more important things right now. Like I told you guys, right now I'm really strapped. I have no money whatsoever until the Switch payment comes through, and I don't know when it's coming through. So, like, if you know, oh, I'm going to donate money for you to, to specifically buy this game, then don't do it because that money needs to go towards more important things than me frivolously buying a game that I'm not super interested in, okay? But if someone were like, oh, here's a digital code to get the game, yeah, then I would consider at least ch checking it out. I wouldn't commit to playing it long term, but I would at least check it out, okay? <clears throat> but no, Fallout 76, no. I just really have no interest in it. Okay. Um, Swaggin says, what's the point of doing a poll if you already have the answer in regards to you playing it? Also, two no options is cheating. Uh, Swaggin's, I have to say this publicly, and I'll say it not, it's not this is not directly uh, just at you. But I have to say this to the public, okay? Just because I run a poll doesn't mean the poll determines anything. When I'm doing polls on my Twitter, it's to get public opinion. It doesn't necessarily mean that I'm going to 100% let that poll dictate what I do. But it's always good to take a look at public opinion on something and weigh it and factor it in, okay? I'll give you a perfect example here. If last night I had done this poll about Battlefield 5, and overwhelmingly... 90 something percent people said phil you got to play this game we really are dying to see you play battlefield 5 then i might have taken a look at it and said wow well you know what you know i really wasn't thinking about playing battlefield 5 but it seems to me a overwhelming amount of people really want to see me play the game maybe now i'll lean towards playing it okay but if you take a look at what actually happened with the poll okay what really happened was more people voted against playing it than playing it and so when I weigh that with the fact that I already wasn't really thinking about playing it, it's kind of like, meh, okay, well, I'm probably not going to play it then, okay? But I think people get this total misrepresentation of what a poll on my Twitter is. If I just do a flash poll overnight on my Twitter, all I'm trying to do is get a spur-of-the-moment idea of what people think. I'm not necessarily saying, this poll will concretely determine what I'm playing next week, so vote and control the future. That's not what it's saying. I think people get a misconception because sometimes I do put up polls on my Twitter and tell everyone, oh, this poll will determine what I'm playing tomorrow, for example. Like, for example, if there's two new releases, and here's a really good example. Today, I I'm playing Hitman and Spyro, and so am I tomorrow. But Thursday's my day off. I'm back on Friday. Which game should I play on Friday? Maybe I'll put up a poll on my Twitter and say, this poll will determine what I play on Friday, so vote on what game you want to see on my main gameplay stream. And if that's the case, I'll definitively tell you in that poll that's what it is. But the last couple of polls that I've held on Twitter were just quick spur-of-the-moment things to try to get public opinion, yet people are taking it like, oh, Phil, this is going to determine what he does. Wait a minute, Phil didn't go off of what it said on the poll. He's not paying attention. 
And that's not the case at all. Okay, it's not. Um, I just don't understand why people think that. You know, it was never promised that I would, you know, live or die by a poll that I randomly posted up on my Twitter in the middle of the night. So, <clears throat> see what I mean? So, I don't know, man. Like, some people just, I think, take shit too seriously. And I don't, you know. So, yeah, chill out. I guess really the only thing to say is kind of chill out, relax a little bit. And, you know, understand that when I do a poll, it's not the end-all, be-all of everything. Okay? Shout out to Dog Whimper, who cheered 60 bits. It says, watching your stream motivates me to want to stream. Uh, I just want to stream, have a good time, and have a good game. Okay, then. Great. Hoder Targ cheered and says, I'm... Uh, oh, my God. Excuse me. All right, let's try this again. Hodar Targ cheered. He says, I'm pretty confused right now. Are you skipping Battlefield or not? I thought you would not skip it after pl after playing Battlefield... Wait? After play after not playing Fallout 76, I guarantee you'll change your opinion. Multiplayer seems big fun after seeing my egg overlord killing it. I have no idea what that means. At all. But, I just told you the whole situation regarding Battlefield 5. Okay? Bloodstone92 has subscribed to the channel. Thank you, Bloodstone, for the subscription. I appreciate that. Salty Hunt has cheered. He says, do you have anything to say to the 56%? The 56% of people who wanted to see me play Fallout 76? Uh, too bad. They should have made a better game. Sorry. <laughs> That's all I can say. Sorry. You can go go blame Bethesda for making a cheap cash grab of a game. Um, They should have done a better job. There you go. Eternal Napalm cheered and says, Battlefield 5 is a massive disappointment. I expect low sales. Spyro, Red Dead Online, Blackout, and Darksiders 3 should hold me over nicely until Sekiro and Metro Exodus in February. Yeah, and that is true. One thing that we have to factor in here, guys and gals, that I have not even mentioned at all in regards to my gaming schedule, Red Dead Online is coming out. We don't know when because Rockstar has not definitively said, oh, on this date it will launch. But it's supposed to be coming out sooner rather than later. I mean, the rumor was that it would be out by the end of November. Um, even though I don't think we were 100% uh, promised that. Okay. Um, so... I don't know, you know, I don't know um, what, what's going to happen in regards to that, but that's going to take up time. That's something I definitely want to do, you know what I mean? Like, um, I definitely want to be playing Red Dead Online and give it a shot, even though I don't know if it's going to amount to anything, just like Grand Theft Auto Online didn't amount to anything. So we'll see, but um, all right, there you go. Howling Wolf Joey Cheers says, do you have any plans to play Deltarune? It's made by the same people who made Undertale. It's set in the altered universe of Undertale. The first chapter is free and the game is four to six hours long. Um, I have no idea. Would I like to eventually play it? Sure. I'm in the midst of so many new releases, there's no chance for me to play it right now, you know? And I already talked about this. Not to say that I'm not a fan of Undertale, I am. When I eventually played Undertale, I loved the game. But you timing is everything, all right? Especially when it comes to... Gaming, because gaming is such a huge and very, very competitive industry. What you need to do is have good timing with game releases. Releasing a free episodic game in the midst of the hardcore gaming season when everyone is playing the insanely hyped AAA games they've been waiting for for years is not a good idea. I mean, I understand that there are people who are huge, ginormous fans of Undertale, and so they played this and loved it. I get that. Okay, but... I'm in the middle of so much other shit. I'm juggling five games. I can't just drop everything to do a random stream to play a free episodic game that came out out of nowhere with no announcement, no hoop. I'll just, oh, we're going to drop it out of nowhere on the internet. Um, <clears throat> so I am interested in it. Eventually I'll get to it, but no time soon. I'm too busy. Okay. Um, let's see here. <clears throat> Ren Jesse James just cheered. He says, I'm, you're suddenly scaring me because I'm looking for a hotel in San Diego now that I won the Comic-Con ticket lottery. So it sounds to me like I guess there was a lottery to get tickets into San Diego Comic-Con and he won the lottery so he can go. But now he's looking for a hotel and he's nervous that Agent 76 is going to show up. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. Well, be careful, I guess. Look out for bald guys in suits. Or then again, Agent 76 probably wouldn't be just walking in like that. He'd be... Uh, you know, maybe stealing a cosplayer's outfit or something, you know, <laughs> posing as the janitor, 
uh, working as part of the fast food crew and poisoning your your chicken tendies. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, be careful. I don't know what else to say. Uh, shout out to Rockstar, who cheered and says thoughts on Detective Pikachu trailer. I did not. Did I say Agent Seventy Six? People are saying I said Agent Seventy Six. Can you tell I got Fallout Seventy Six on the brain? Okay. Uh, Agent Forty Seven. Excuse me. All right. So Rockstar cheered and said. Thoughts on the Detective Pikachu trailer? Um, well, I visually I saw it. I didn't hear any of it, but like it was on my Twitter feed, and I very you know was looking at some of it. It looks pretty impressive visually that they tried to take Pokemon and turn them into 3D images. What I'm finding interesting about this, right, is that this is going to be the first uh, live action Pokemon movie ever. And it's not about the mainstream Pokemon plotline. It's not about trainers training their Pokemon and traveling the world and joining, trying to win the Pokemon League and taking over gyms. It literally bypasses the entire mainstream plotline of Pokemon at its at its premise and instead is a shoot-off off-spin where kids teaming up with a detective Pikachu to try to solve a mystery or whatever. Um, that's very different, right? And that's kind of interesting to me. But will it end up being a good movie? I have no idea. So I did, but I saw. I basically I saw the visuals of the trailer. I didn't get to see the, uh, I didn't like the full trailer and listen to the audio or anything. So Itachi just sent me ten dollars. Thank you very much, Itachi, for the ten dollar tip. He says, "What up, Phil? Did you hear PUBG is coming to PS4? Will be giving it a second chance, or do you still think it is trash? There is zero chance I'm playing PUBG on PS4, and there's two reasons why. Okay, there's two reasons why. Boy, this keyboard does not want to work." This is very disturbing. This keyboard better start freaking working, man. Okay, here you go. Tachi is not up on the leaderboard. Top tip of 10 bucks, okay? So the first reason I'm not playing PUBG on the PS4, because I already fucking bought it on Xbox One, and I shouldn't have had to pay for it to begin with because it was a unfinished game when I played it. Every time I played it, the game ran like fucking shit. It was so hard to ever shoot anyone. They never improved it, too. Like, I played it over the course from December of 2017 all the way through like may to june of 2018 and in the six plus months that this game i paid for it to play early access they never fucking improved the game it ran like shit every fucking time i played it without exception um and that's sad that they just it was a cash grab oh the hot viral game PUBG is now on console so everyone ran out and paid for it just to fucking play it and then it ends up being a, a piece of garbage right um, so number one, I already own it on a console, right? So there's no way that I'm going to buy it again. Number two, and I hate to say this, and I'm sure a lot of you are probably going to agree with me at this point. The hype behind PUBG is completely de dead. Fortnite 100% has destroyed PUBG. Fortnite is the hype battle royal game now. No one talks about PUBG anymore. The only people who are like hype into PUBG are people who were 100% like PUBG style players. But even a lot of them have fucking switched over to Fortnite. Fortnite is the Battle Royale game with all of the fucking momentum. The only other game that's Battle Royale right now that everyone's kind of talking about is Blackout because it came out along with Black Ops 4. But outside of that, I, you know, who's talking about PUBG or even playing PUBG? Look at the numbers. The streaming numbers on Twitch have plummeted dramatically. The overall population of the game has plummeted dramatically. Uh, it, it got eaten up and spit, chewed up and spit out. By other games. Okay? So, no. There is zero chance that I'm buying the game again to play on a different console when the game isn't even that popular anymore. Okay? Alright. Um, let's see here. Alright, so a few people were cheering and talking about my schedule, which I fixed. Uh, Crazy Dream, I have absolutely no idea why you were timed out. I, sadly, as long as much as I would love to be omnipotent and be able to see everything and keep a monitor on everything that happens in the stream chat at all times, as you know, when I'm doing a pre-stream, I'm focusing in on what I'm talking about. Therefore, I have absolutely no idea what happened or why you were timed out in the stream chat. Um, so, you know, if you're still, if you're here now and you're able to chat, I don't see the big deal. All right. Um, you know. Oh, after the fact, I can always check chat logs and the like and see what's going on. 
Okay. Shout out to Tono89, who has just subscribed to the channel for the seventh month in a row at tier three. Wow, thank you very much, Tono89, for that very generous subscription. For those who don't know the different tier subs, the higher tier you go, it is more expensive, but I get more of a contribution from that. So this actually helps me out tremendously. So thank you very much, Tono, for that. Um, he says, what's up? Excited to see you play Hitman. I recently changed my name on Twitch if you were wondering who this is. Okay, well, thank you very much for the contribution. I appreciate that very much. Thanks for the seven months of support. Salty Hunt cheered. He says, Age of 76 going after you, DSP, after you're rigging the polls. I don't, I don't know how I could possibly rig a poll. <laughs> DSP T-Post countered, said, Cheers, and watch out for Agent 76, lagged, filled, and unfinished. Jose Martinez did a 100-bit cheer. He says, hi, how are you? Then he cheered again and said, how are you? Well, I, I'm good. I'm, look, I'm definitely looking forward to today's new release content. Whenever there's a big new release day, uh, it does put me in a good mood. You know, typically, that is not Martinez. Mar... What the fuck? Oh, here we go. There it is. Jose Martinez. Got it. Typically, new releases, you know, get me pu pumped up for new content. Of course, new releases always bring in a new element. We get new viewers, which is great. But we also get trolls, which is not so great. But you always expect this whenever there's a new release. So, you gotta take the good with the bad, as they say, right? Eternal Napalm just cheered and said... Just think, Fallout 76 is a big reason why there's no Elder Scrolls 6 yet. Starfield is a sci-fi blend of the Elder Scrolls and Fallout with the scale of No Man's Sky. Well, there you go. And I know nothing about Starfield. I think Starfield's PC only, isn't it? Okay. Um. <clears throat> Alright, continuing on. Tandem Outer cheered. Thank you very much, Tandem Outer, for the cheer. Wow, my left eye just started burning out of nowhere. Ah, I wonder if something went in it or something. Ow, hopefully my eye starts feeling better. Because I'm, I'm actually finishing a pre-stream. I'm about to start gaming and my eye starts burning. Ah, son of a bitch. <sighs> Stupid eyeball. Okay, Crazy Dream Charity says, Oh, I was timed out because I did a symbol and swag and that it was banned worthy, but he should have spoken to me directly rather than treating me like an attraction. All right, ladies and gentlemen, spamming the stream chat with symbols is not a good idea. Especially if you're following... A meme that's a negative meme or could be deemed insulting to someone. Spamming handicapped symbols in a stream chat is not a great idea. And you should probably use your brain before you do so and jump on the sheepish bandwagon of people who think it's funny. Because it's not. So, you know, you gotta cut. sometimes you gotta use your, your noggin a little bit before you take actions. And sometimes when you take actions and then there's repercussions for said actions, you have to live with the repercussions of said actions and take some responsibility for those actions. Okay? So how about, instead of spamming the stream chat with stupid shit, instead we all just relax. Okay? We all just relax. We sit back. We say, this is a fun gameplay stream. This is a place where we're all meant to just watch me play games and be happy and relax and be separated from the drama and the crap of everything. And we all just get along. All right? And we all just, you know, sit back have a nice, calm stream. Instead of everyone getting angry with each other because they're posting symbols and getting banned out. Okay? Relax. Holy chamoly. Holy shplamoly chamolies. What is going on? Why can't people just relax? Okay? Why can't people just relax? I just don't understand it. Crazy Dream, no, I cannot drop the whole stream right now to go check chat logs and see what you said. I was doing pre-stream. Relax! You're here now, aren't you? Relax. Everyone relax right now. We're all going to take... Here's what we're going to do. We're all just going to take a relaxation moment. All right? We're all just going to lean back. We're going to paint some happy little trees. We're going to... We're going to... We're going to... You know, have some happy little accident. And we're not going to stress everyone. We're going to relax. We're going to sit back. We're going to have a nice day. We're going to listen to some music. What's this here? Let's see. That was incredibly annoying. That was not exactly what I had intended to put. What is this one here? 
All right, there. You see? That's what I don't want on the stream. I don't want people running around like Benny Hill, going willy-nilly, acting chaotic, being all dramatic, being all crazy and, and you know, all wound up. Instead, we're going to be relaxed. We're all just going to be here. We're going to enjoy the stream. We're going to sit back and watch some fun assassination gameplay and laugh at the foibles and, and the, the errors that I make. And we're all going to have a good time. We are. We're all going to have a good time. We're not going to be all pent up like Benny Hill. We're not going to be bouncing off walls. No. 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 <laughs> okay. I don't know what's going on with some people today. I just have no idea. It's this simple, guys. You shouldn't be spamming symbols in the stream chat. Just because everyone else does something doesn't mean that you should too. You know? You know, I hate to say it because my, my parents used to say this to me too and it pissed me off, but if everyone jumped off a bridge with you too, you know, if, if something stupid is going on, maybe you don't participate in the stupid thing that's going on and then you also won't have a negative consequence for participating in the stupid thing that's going on. Okay? Fair enough? All right. All righty then. All right, everyone. I see. Now, this is good. Everyone's kind of relaxed. I see. The stream chat has relaxed. Everyone's nice and calm. And now we can continue on. There you go. <laughs> it's that simple. Okay. All right. All right, guys. I have to blow my nose, actually. My nose has been bothering me. So I'm going to end the pre-stream. I'm going to blow the nose. And then we're going to start with Hitman. Okay? But I will just say this one more time. Thanks, everyone, for your contributions. All right. Ripley Atomic just here said, do the poopy scoop. <laughs> do the poopy scoop. Swaggins wants me to do this, this Bob Ross impersonation the entire stream. This is what I'm going to do. From now on, when I see people freaking out in the stream chat, I'm going to go Bob Ross mode. And then we're just going to relax. That's what it's going to be because that's what it needs. People just need to chill. They need to stop going nuts and losing their minds and bouncing off the walls and headbutting each other. And sometimes you just need to sit back and have a nice chill moment on the stream. Right? <clears throat> I know what's going on here. Okay. <laughs> okay. So anyway, let's end the pre-stream. I'll blow the nose and then we'll start with Hitman. But I will end with this because I said this earlier. Right now, guys, if you are going to contribute during today's stream... I would appreciate it if you could tip me. Tipping is going to help me the most right now. I'm really bad financially right now because of some stuff going on. And I'm waiting for a Twitch payment to come through. It has not come through. And I'm basically just sitting here with no money. It's not good. It's not. Um, so, if you tip me, it helps me more than anything. You tip me by either clicking on the tips jar button below the stream. Or typing in exclamation point tip into the stream chat. And I appreciate that. Okay? Alright guys, let's end the pre-stream. I'll blow the nose. And then we will start. I'll be right back. 